Hey, 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 what is going on? James Smiley here. Hey, I was able to IPO a software company in my 20s, a $350 million IPO. We even had a NASCAR. You probably uh, heard me say that before. In one of these videos, I'm going to show you the NASCAR. It's really, really cool. Um, hey, let me tell you this. On today's uh, video, I want to share with you um, how do you handle a no money client, okay? Um, so many of us in our businesses, we run into clients. In fact, it's a large majority of clients who say they have no money. Okay. To be honest, this could be 50, 70, 80% of clients that you talk to. And it's a, a salesperson's job or a CEO's job to be able to know how to handle this situation. And, and that is the difference between having a successful company a lot of times and having an unsuccessful company or having a thriving company and a company that can just barely limp along. The first thing you want to ask yourself is why do you want to sell to this person? Why would you want to sell to somebody who says they have no money? Well, it is only because statistically, more than 90% of the time, this is through all the research I've ever seen, Gardner Research, York Group, whatever, these people are actually lying to you, okay? Now, I say lying kind of facetiously. Are they really lying to you? No, they're, they're, they're more, they just get cold feet. They don't know why. They, 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 they didn't know the price would be that high. Um, you know, sometimes people just don't know what to do. They get embarrassed. They, they, you know what I mean? They don't trust you sometimes, okay? So this is, you gotta be honest. Like sometimes they just don't trust you. They don't know. They don't know if they should trust you or believe you. They need some time to think about it. And so they're just going, man, like I don't even know. I don't even know what I believe or what I think um, sounds good, but I don't even know, you know? I'm gonna tell you some really cool things here. I'm gonna share with you kind of my secret little script that I've literally talked to hundreds of sales reps and helped them overcome this. And if you watch this today, you're going to be able to overcome this too. And here's the crazy thing is what I'm going to tell you might be a little bit controversial, but when this is done, I promise you, you will not be able to, to, to deny what I'm about to share with you. Okay. Um, so here's the deal. If somebody has no money, if a prospect, prospect has no money, you want to figure this out early. Okay. Early in the conversation, early in the sales funnel, you want to figure out early if they have no money. So there's lots of mechanisms and things you can do online or things you can do in the, in the funnel process or the appointment booking process. Um, you could ask them questions like, um, hey, if, if, uh, if this meeting that you're about to have with John goes really, really well, um, and let, let's just say hypothetically that it went so well, it was everything that you thought you needed to grow your company, I just want to ask a general question. Do you have money, either cash or credit, to invest in yourself today? I can tell you this, if somebody has no money, they almost always will say, well, see, that's going to be the problem is I really don't have any money. So, so you want to find out early. Um, it, it is not uncommon. Like one of, one of my really good friends, I really don't want to say his name, but he's, he's done over $10 million in sales. And he's went out and said, look, 30, 40, 45% of our overall revenue, I want you to think about that, $10 million, 30, 40% of our overall revenue has come from people who said they couldn't afford it. Okay. And we had to finance them or we had to do like, you know what I mean? Like, so, so if you just give up or here, here's the, here's the common thing that happens in sales organizations in the small businesses. Um, the salespeople say the leads suck and then marketing says the salespeople can't close, right? So everyone's blaming each other and guess what? Neither one is probably right. The first thing you have to understand about this is there is a chasm here, okay? And you wanna create the chasm on the call. So this is very common in a lot of sales trainings. So essentially, I wanna to try to get to a place where I understand the offer. Like, what, what are they offering me in terms of income? Now, this is not my offer. This is what are they offering me, okay? So like, what are um, they offering me? What do they offer me in terms of money, in terms of price, okay? Let's say um, you're, you're selling your services and you normally sell your services at $2,000, okay? And the, so you ask the question, say, hey, so um, I just want to know before we get started, um, you know, obviously we're a coaching program or we're a, this is such and such a service. Um, and uh, so, you know, what, what, what's your budget coming into something like this? What, what are you looking, what's kind of your range? Okay, a really good question to say is what's your range? Because typically people won't say exactly what their budget is. They don't want to just tip their hand but they will tell you a range, okay? Um, now, either way, even if they don't say what their range is, you just go ahead and throw the card out. Just say, look, well, now you want, you want to play a little bit high. So you'll say, look, um, my range is, if it's really 2,000, what you're trying to get, my range is typically going to be somewhere between four and, and $18,000. That's, that's where we come in, and come in at. So uh, is that good? Everything good? And you never know what they're going to say. They might say, yeah, that sounds good. They might go, ah, that's a little bit more expensive. And that's when you come back and say, okay, well, what were you looking at in terms of kind of, I need to know just a range. What are you looking at? Are you looking at $500, $5, $5,000? What are you looking at? Okay, so, so they'll tell you, you want to get what their offer is. Or what, you know, another thing you can ask them is you can say, look, um, how much money do you have in cash or credit on hand to invest in yourself today? 
Now, what you want to do is you want to create this chasm between the, what they think is the budget. Well, let's say it's 500 bucks and you're, you're trying to get 2000. Well, if they think it's 500 bucks and they go, ah, well, that's to see the problem. I really have like three or four or 500 bucks. Okay. So, so always go to the higher end. Okay. So you have 500 bucks. Um, uh, so let me ask this question. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to get to the result now. Okay. So what, so the next thing I'm going to say is something like this. Um, so I got their budget, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. So, 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 so we call it budget, problem, and value, okay? Budget, problem, and value. So we say, okay, <clears throat> ma'am, I totally understand um, that you're, you're trying to, um, um, you know, get into our coaching program uh, and change your business for, for 500 bucks. I totally understand. Um, hey, before we get into kind of what's possible or not, let me just ask you a question. What problem are you trying to solve for, for that five hundred dollars? What, what's the ultimate the ultimate problem you're trying to solve here? Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having a problem with this and that. And I really want to scale, and I really want to be a two combo club winner. I really want to do this. I really want to get this trophy. I really want to um, become a millionaire. I really want, okay, okay, fine. And so, if you were able to um, grow the business in that way, what would that what would that mean to you in terms of of revenue to the company to revenue into your own bank account well i don't know what it would mean it might mean this it might be that okay but if you were to just guess like what would what would be like a, a a medium low range that that would be oh i don't know probably like six figures you know maybe 200 grand or something like that okay time out okay so now i've got their budget 500 bucks and the problem they're trying to solve you have got to understand you will not be able to help them unless you help them get clarity on this. Your ultimate goal here is to find out how do I motivate them to find more budget, to find more money, to get to put more money out there. Like how do I motivate them, right? Because they want to cross this chasm between like their offer of 500 bucks and they want to grow a six-figure company, okay? But, but you can already start to see like – big problem they're saying it's a big problem but they only have 500 bucks like how, how could that possibly be okay um so 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 now uh you, you wanted to present this in a in a teeming way not in a confrontational way because truthfully they've honestly never had somebody say that they've never had somebody say hey do you understand you're trying to solve a quarter million dollar problem with 500 bucks how, how is that possible and you're trying to solve a mile long problem you're trying to cross a river that's a mile long, but your bridge is like 10 feet. And, the, and this is the, the, the clarity discussion that you need to have with them because typically they're either going to bring in their problem to something more reasonable that you might want to do. Maybe you don't, but you might want to, or they're going to find more money. Okay. And this is the art of sales, by the way. Okay. So look, here's some key, key things that they might say. They might say, Look, um, no, I totally understand. I want to get there. I just got to, but man, I really, I really have no money. I, I, I just, I have no money. That's all I have. Great. Let's not do this because the problem is not big enough. In fact, I do not suggest you try to cross a mile-long raging river with a ten-foot rope. That will, you're wasting your time and your money. There's no way you should do that. I would be a horrible consultant if I told you to do that. But they go, oh, no, 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 the problem is big. It happens all the time, right? No, you don't understand, Dave, the problem is big. Then why don't we have a discussion and figure out how do we get more money to fix the problem? We need to figure out how to get the money, okay? Then they say, um, look, look, I really need your help. I don't think I can afford it, like, but, but look, I really, really need your help. Like, can, can you just help me? People say that all the time. Can you just help me? Can James just help me? This is a very, very powerful phrase, okay? You say, look, 500 bucks or whatever the amount is. Here's the deal. 500 bucks is not enough money to cover the amount of time that I'm going to need to dedicate to you to make sure that we fix this problem. We're talking about not just needing a bigger rope, but we need a whole lot more materials. There's a lot of time that I'm going to need to spend with you, right? This is a big problem, like you said. So a big problem requires a lot of time, and I'm willing to put in that time. I'm willing to dedicate that time to you, but 500 bucks is not enough money to cover my time. So what can we do about that? Where do you want to go from here? See what I'm saying? So you put it back on them, value your time, um, value your service or whatever it is you're delivering, but put it back on them, okay? 
here's some really cool solutions, some things that we do, some tactical things that we do. Number one, we asked the question, like I brought up before, how much cash and credit do you actually have on hand? Here's another thing you'd say. Um, I, 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 we ask this question a lot um, when we get stuck. We don't know what to do. And basically, we're about to close the call. We just say, look, where, where, where do you want me to go from here? What, I've given you my options. What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go from here? You know, and that puts it back on them in a very polite way without you having to end the call or anything like that, but that puts it back on them. Um, uh, other really good, really good solutions is uh, offer PayPal credit, and there's also, also financing systems like Affirm. Uh, you can apply there and see if you can get approved at Affirm. Um, you may, may want to self-finance it to them, like I just said. You may want to um, split pay, offer split pay, things like that. that that's a really good option. Um, be careful with it, but that, that is a really good option to, 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 to don't ever, you want to be really careful to not offer that. Don't ever say, uh, well, what if I did split pay? Don't, but, but when you say, hey, where do you want to go from here? A lot of times they're going to say, well, do you have a payment plan? Is there any way I can finance it? Um, you want to, this is a really good question. Say, so who has the money? Okay, what do you mean? Who, well, who has the money? Somebody, the money is out there and it's within your reach. Who has it? You're short five thousand dollars. That's not a lot of money. I mean, this is America, or this is you know, you're you're in an international uh, environment. Like, what do you mean? You're short five thousand dollars. People around you have the money. Who has the money? Is it a client? Is it family? Okay, let's come up with a list. Who has the money? Okay, because maybe PayPal gives you some. Um, sometimes PayPal. A lot of times PayPal will cover the whole thing. Okay. So they said they do 500, PayPal will give them two grand. They go, well, my cousin owes me 500 bucks. Okay, now we're at three. Um, then maybe they sell something, that's another 500 bucks. And then maybe they serve another client, it's another five. I mean, you see what I'm saying? These things actually really happen. This is how real salespeople close. And, and basically, these, these salespeople are, are doing everything they can. They believe so much in the results that you can get that they will do everything they can to get these clients through. This is, this is how you really take care of a client. 